Okay, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to start talking about visualization. So visualization is an extremely powerful tool. I mean, have you ever had anxiety or visualized something that's not going to go your way? Imagining all the terrible things that could potentially happen? You know, many people can imagine doom and gloom really, really well. But instead of visualizing how bad things can be, why don't we rather visualize how you can achieve your goals? I mean, imagine the difference that that could make in your life. We have a phenomenal brain and the power to create amazing things in our minds. From little children who imagine that they're playing with their invisible friends to sports people who visualize exactly how they're going to compete in a race. In fact, one such person was Muhammad Ali. And he used to say, I am the greatest. And he would visualize the fight and how he was going to box with his opponent. And he'd even visualize the round in which he would knock his opponent out. It's a trait that many top sports people actually use in their training. As a young boy, Michael Phelps would visualize swimming a race, taking every stroke. And he'd even visualize and he'd count how many strokes before he reached to the other side. He could essentially swim a whole race blindfolded. Now what's interesting is during the 2008 Beijing Olympics, as he dove into the pool, his swimming goggles filled with water. He couldn't see the bottom of the pool as he swam the 200 meter butterfly finals. He visualized himself swimming the race, just as he'd practiced all those years as a little boy. And sure enough, when he finished the race, he not only won the race, but he set a new world record. And when he was asked what it felt like to swim blind, he simply said, it felt like I imagined it would. How amazing is that? The power of visualization is awesome. Unfortunately, sometimes people also imagine all sorts of crazy stuff. Like Montaigne said, my life has been full of terrible misfortunes, most of which never happened. Meaning people get anxiety and stress about things that probably never will happen in their life. There was a study done with basketball players. And they took this group of basketball players and they broke them into three groups. The one group was told just to go and relax. Don't do anything, just relax. Watch some TV. One group had to visualize themselves successfully shooting hoops. So they had to imagine that they were shooting hoops. They would imagine how it felt like, the ball felt like in their hand, how they would jump, where the ball was going to hit the back of the net, whatever it might be, just imagining themselves successfully shooting the hoops. And then the third group was told to actually practice shooting the hoops. So they physically had to do it. Now what was interesting, as you imagine, the first group that was just relaxing and they didn't do any form of practice, they didn't increase in their ability at all. They stayed exactly the same. The second group, who visualized successfully shooting the hoops, improved almost as much as the group who did actually physically practice shooting the hoops. And what was really the key here for the second group to improve was to physically visualize themselves feeling and seeing the ball. Then visualizing the ball going through the hoop. This again reinforces this idea of we get what we focus on and what we visualize and what we practice and rehearse in our minds we can bring into our reality. Now, well-known author Deepak Chopra says that our emotions, our desires, and our imagination can influence the biological responses in our bodies. There's long been evidence on the effects of stress on our health. Now there's evidence on how positive emotions like love and compassion can also affect our health in a more positive way. So visualization can and does influence our health and our well-being. By visualization, you can take a purpose 
and turn your thoughts into specific images and ideas of how you can achieve your results. So visualization uses the right side of the brain, which we use more for our creative imagination and, and obviously much more. As such, visualization has a very positive role to play in goal setting. It builds on our confidence and your belief in yourself. You can even use visualization in conjunction with other tools like the Wheel of Life, which we looked at earlier, or vision boards, which we're going to get to next. And there's various exercises that you can do to practice visualization, including things like guided visualization or hypnosis or meditation, just to name a few. So just for a moment, imagine what your life would look like when you achieve the goal that you wrote down earlier. Really imagine everything that you will hear, see, feel and say to yourself. Experiencing it fully in first person, meaning being totally connected as if you've already achieved it. And notice all of the sensory connection with that. What will you see, hear, feel, smell, touch, taste, say to yourself and so forth. And just get in touch with that for a moment. Notice how good that might feel.